Welcome to Africa. Today we are going to talk about the medieval kingdom of Ghana. Ghana started around 400 AD and continued until the 1200s when Sundiatikita, the Lion Prince of Mali, took over. So how did Ghana become such a wealthy, successful kingdom? Well, first of all, Ghana had excellent leaders and kings. And also, they grew extremely rich from trade. They controlled the trade routes that led to salt and gold mines. So they taxed the traders who came through the kingdom. You didn't pay your taxes, you couldn't get to the gold and salt. They made so much money, they were able to support an army of 200,000 soldiers. So the kingdom was booming, and everyone was happy, until it all started to fall apart. So why? What happened? First of all, new gold mines were discovered that were outside of Ghana's control. The traders started to go to the new mines, so that way they didn't have to pay the taxes to Ghana. And also, they had overused their farmland. The crops began to fail because the soil didn't have enough nutrients to support them. And so all of this made Ghana very vulnerable to invasion. Soon Diatakita swooped in and took this land for his new kingdom of Mali. And so, as Ibn Khaldun, the great Arab historian, said, all civilizations must rise and eventually fall. The end.